And then you just spin this down. Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're finally getting the roof rack, roof basket and spare wheel installed. So first up we had to get these bolt covers off. Which was fine until we got to the last one. As you can see here, the top just came off with the screw still inside. Nightmare. So to try and get it out, I used a small drill bit just to try and see if I could break it up. And then went for a drill bit just smaller than the hole, which luckily had done the trick. And avoided defreading the hole as well. When putting the rail on, I put all the screws in first before tightening it down, just to give me more room to move about. I was a bit worried about water getting into the gap on each side of the rail, but it turned out to be fine. So when installing guys, always check the instructions, as the screws are different sizes depending on the location on the car. And now I'm just assembling the roof bars. And that's the bars up. I'll no doubt change the bar locations when I get the roof box. So, roof rack done and on to the next bit. And after two months of humming and hawing, I finally decided on my setup for the roof. 
and I went for the steel roof basket. It felt the easier option to install as it needed to hold the spare wheel and I couldn't be arsed trying to find a roof box to fit it. There is an angled faceplate to help with aerodynamics, but in honesty, adding anything like this or a roof box to your van is still going to mess with its fuel efficiency. These are the bolts that we bought. We actually get lock nuts as well. So Loctite nuts were supplied, but I'm adding some Loctite glue just for extra peace of mind. And that's it, time to go put it on the van and check the fit. So I'm just checking if it's straight and marking it up with tape, just as a guide. And now it's time to spray it, so I used black hammery, all-in-one primer and finisher and I started spraying all the welding joints but ended up getting carried away to be honest I wasn't caring about getting runs or neatness as I needed it to dry quickly before the rain came And this is a clamp system to hold the wheel in place but I'll touch on it later in the video So before installing, I need to attach the base plate of the clamp system to the cage. The first problem is the hook hole was too big. The second problem, the hooks weren't lining up with the holes as the squares were too wide. So after contemplation and a lot of swearing, I cracked it. <laughs> so that's it finally on. I mean, these aren't doing too much, but I mean, they are quite solid. But as you can see, I've had to jam it in between the two different ends. But they've both been back together all right. The whole thing's solid and there's going to be U clamps here anyway so the U clamps are going to hold on this basket and then the other ones are going to hold that there to the roof bars so and that's tight under there. There's no way that's coming up for there. Even if these were to fail, this is still solid. Just before I put it on, let's do zip ties on. Again, they're just for extra security, just to keep it together. Should anything fail? So I've had to bend these because the bar's a lot thicker and then using these plates you basically go like that and then you just screw these on like that and that's all that holds it in. Doesn't it seem safe for you? Try it. It doesn't actually tell you how much you need to do it and the more I keep doing it the more the cage actually bows in the middle but I'm going to use zip ties every second square just to make sure that it's nice and stuck to this roof rack but we'll get them in first See I'm thinking that these are supposed to go underneath the roof rack or like underneath the bars but there's no room to tighten them if I do it it's actually feeling solid with just the freedom on it. I've been tightened it right down yet. The bowing in the middle actually added more rigidity when the wheel was added, otherwise it may have bounced a bit when driving. 
so that's how it's going to sit. Obviously, put the thing in the middle. Let's try it. So that in a nutshell is how it's going to go. Before I put the wheel on, I'm going to put um, zip ties to the crossbars. It's not that I don't trust it, I just don't trust it. <laughs> this is absolutely an anxiety thing. The thought of this coming off and hurting someone maybe made me overdo it. And these will also add a bit of friction as well to stop it if it was to slide about. Okay, that's where the zip ties on. Let's give it a shake test. Solid. It's definitely on there, rock solid, but again, it's always nice to have that peace of mind. So I've cut that, so when it goes in, it means that the tyre cover can go over the top as well. So as you can see, it hooks up for the bottom, and then that goes into one of the holes of the wheel. Then you put this on in the washer, and then you just spin this down. I can see that being an issue, rattling. It wasn't an issue, I never heard it once. And as you can see, the tire's quite solid. Yeah, that's the best I'm going to get it. Job's a good one. And you've still got space here and there if you want to put some other stuff in there, you can just ratchet it down. So has it finally done? The roof has now got its spare wheel back. And as you can see here as well, I've actually put zip ties from the basket to the actual bars on the side in here as well, and I've put it at all four corners. And that was just to add more strength, even though it's solid, like, that is not moving. <laughs> That's it now done. So for all you WAV conversions, this could be a good idea for you. See you in the next one. So you might be wondering why it's so far forward. The simple answer is to keep the weight centre to the van because of the lowered floor. If I put the wheel to the back, the added weight would have made the bottom of the car scrape on speed bumps, etc. And also because I'm putting a solar panel behind it. So get subscribed to see that video coming soon. I did get a bigger basket for the wheel and solar panel to sit on together, but it was just too big and heavy. This was the best compromise. This has been a job I've been trying to do for so long, but I just kept putting off as I wasn't sure if I wanted a roof box or a roof basket. So with every trip I've been to, I've had to carry the spare wheel in the back of the van, which has been annoying. So thankfully it's now sorted.